63 years. That's how long owners of the Macon Drive-In have been showing movies to area residents. But the 64th year could be in jeopardy. That's why current owners are now asking for your help. The Macon Drive-In first opened in 1950. It's been up and running ever since. There's no way of measuring its importance to the local community. I think it's important because it's been here for so long and it is just a part of this. It's actually um, back in 2003 was declared a monument, a historical monument here. And with that being said, we know that this community wants to keep this drive-in alive. Paulette Warner and her husband GW bought the drive-in around 10 years ago when it came up for sale. We wanted to make sure that it stayed up and running for the families in this community. They come out here, they bring their children, they sit in the, on the ground or in the back of their car and listen to the music or play games or play ball until the movie starts. And then after the movie starts, they can watch the movie. And we didn't want that to go away. The Warners have been showing movies at the drive-in now for around a decade. But that could be a thing of the past as soon as next year. The Warners still use a 1960s film projector to show their movies. It's fair to say they need an upgrade. Now, however, they have no choice. Starting next year, movie companies will only distribute their movies in digital form, meaning this old 35 millimeter projector won't work. The Warners will need a new digital projector that costs around $75,000, money they don't have. So now they're asking you for your help in an online competition among drive-ins across the country. And there's only 71 drive-ins in this competition. That doesn't mean there's only 71 drive-ins around, but other ones have already made their plans and already gone digital, or they've decided they can't do it and close, or they didn't know the competition was going on. So, um, so with this, you know, we need this upgrade because we're not going to be able to show what we have. What is the internet uh, email or the actual address? It's um, projectdrivein.com. And then what you can do is you can either uh, do, um, our number is 16, vote 16. But you can scroll down and you just type in Lafayette, Tennessee, and it comes up and takes two seconds, literally two seconds to vote. How crucial is it that, that, that the voting takes place by a lot of folks that, in, in, in other words, to help you all have a chance to win? I think it's the top five uh, drive-ins get That's these correct. projectors. Mm -hmm. The top five. And what they're going to do is America's going to vote in. That's why we desperately need everybody to vote. We need the word out there for everybody to share with their people and to vote, vote, vote. And with that being said, then the top five will get a free digital camera. They come out, set it up, teach you how to use it, everything. And then uh, they also have pledges on the, on the website where people can pledge. And with that money, they're going to take that money and divide it amongst uh, sixth and seventh place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a possibility we still could get a little bit of money even if we don't come in top five. I hate to put, hate to put you on the spot. Do you remember the number that you text off the top of your head? Yes, I do. It is uh, you text 2444999. And then your message is all capital letters, V-O-T-E, with no space, 16. Warner says she and her husband have a backup plan if their drive-in isn't one of the top five vote-getters who qualify to get a new digital projector from Honda. A backup plan that involves a lot of fundraising. She just hopes she doesn't have to ask local businesses for money. How tough would it be seeing this drive-in close after all these years? I think it would be devastated to this community and I think that if we don't win I think that this community will rally together and we'll get some fundraisers together. I've already had some people contact me about what could they do and I'm like well let's see what's going to happen with the voting mm -hmm. and then if we don't get it you know let's be positive and think yes we're going to win a top five but if we don't get it there will be some fundraisers going on and so I will have to have some people help and market it. You can participate in the online voting or texting until September 9th. Voting and texting that hopefully will secure a new digital projector for a place that's been in business for 63 years with no plans of going dark anytime soon. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.